if you are looking for some new ui in custom rooms then this custom room is for you as it includes android 12 ui plus one ui which makes it completely unique if you can't see the screen recording properly then you can watch my portrait video where the screen is portrait instead of landscape so that you can watch it clearly so let's begin now but before starting make sure to subscribe as 78% are not subscribed Sometimes and I can't seem to find the light between the walls I built for myself right in my mind. And then you came over and you showed me love that I never had seen before. And now, when I got you, it's all gonna be alright. Thinking about all the things we did tonight, what a time to be alive. Just you and I. Give me too much 
my chance to talk and I'm fine, I'm fancy brighter Yeah, 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 oh boy, I'm telling you goodbye, I'm telling you goodbye So the safety net is passed by enabling magic guide and I am not sure if it passes without magic and the wide wind is L1 by default. Rocket launcher. Help me. So the gaming performance of this room is quite good. There are some minor lags as you can see in this video. And without screen recording the performance is same, just a little bit better. And I have recorded this gameplay at 1080p. And the kernel that I was using was Nexus kernel EAS version 5. So now let's have a look at benchmark results. And there is no results of Geekbench as it was crashing. And then I tried 3D mark but it also crashed. This CPU hurting test results is with Predator Stormbreaker R 2.0 CAF version and the threads are set to 100 which gives an average score of 150 and max up to 154 which is quite okay -ish. and there is no CPU hurting detector as well. Also sharing my battery stats is useless as the battery life has been degraded. So the pros and cons of this room is UI looks cool and amazing. It is a combination of One UI and Android 12 which makes it completely unique or you can call it One UI on steroids. Then the bugs are very minimum in this custom room and the optimization of this room is very bad which makes the device slow. Though the safety net doesn't pass with magisk, you need to enable magisk guide to make it work and I'm not sure if it passes by default without magisk and the wide one is L1 by default which is great for the users those who use Netflix and Amazon Prime Video. So due to bad optimization the device can be laggy and slow while using normally and which also leads to app crash while it is running in background. So in the end I would say that this custom room is completely mixture of One UI, Android 12 and Oxygen OS which I forgot to mention previously. The settings UI looks similar to One UI and Android 12 notification panel style is adapted here and the launcher plus some icons is from Oxygen OS. So the bugs that I faced was swiping up on home screen doesn't work properly and you need to do it multiple times to make it work. And after rebooting system the battery icon shows 0% and also the system UI might crash sometimes after rebooting. So if you want to try something unique then I would say you should flash it but waiting for next update might be a better option as the lagginess and the other optimizations issues might be fixed in the next update. Overall this custom room is quite okay and manageable if you can handle the things that I mentioned before. If you are looking for different UI then I would suggest to try Dot OS, Ancient OS and some other rooms like Octavia, Nusantra. These are with some minor changes. It could have been a better custom room if the optimization issues were not there and I would love to see this custom room grow. The uniqueness is completely different out of all custom rooms. So thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe for more videos like this. Also follow me on Instagram. Dancing on the moon.